online, on digital, and on 88 to 91 FM. Claudia Winkleman on BBC Radio 2. Um, okay, let's stay with uh, music as it's time to welcome a musician who first tasted fame two decades ago, went on to work with numerous A-list names and has just released his new album, A Seat at the Table. You probably heard Terry Wogan championing the song Addicted to the Phone. Good evening, Elio Pace. Good evening, Claudia. That is the best name in the whole world. Oh, thank you. I know, but I thought you weren't going to be... I mean, you're from Surrey. Oh, or am I wrong? No, no, I was born in Woking in Surrey. But yeah. my mum and dad are Italiani. Si. Napolitani. That's why. Are your names an Italian name? I don't understand why. Claudia. Yeah. I'm from London. But my mum got all excited. But it's nice, Claudia. Uh, with a, with a, a name of books. Anyway, no, it's a hideous name. We can't discuss this. Let us discuss <laughs> how excited are you about your new album? You I, must be cock a hoop. I am, actually. It's taken me it's taken me all my professional life to get round to making it. I did, you know, I, I mean, I started, you know, writing years and years and years and years ago. And there's some old songs on there that never got recorded properly. Really? Yeah, so yeah. So why is it taking you so why? long? Just because you've been so busy performing. Yeah, basically. I, I, and, and also I I'd sort of, you know, I diverted off the route of singer-songwriting and stuff and doing my own gigs with my own band, doing my own material. I went into theatre, I went into, uh, you know, musical theatre, I musically directed, I did a bit of acting, I started playing for other people and stuff, you know, and then and the next thing you know, you're 41 and you go, hold on. I've got to make this album. Yeah. And also at some point, I imagine, because I can already tell that you're a very sweet person. I mean, don't Thank don't you. be alarmed. But I, in terms of, I mean, I think that you'd probably care about other people. So when you're trying to make people sound great and everything else, you sort of probably forget that, you know, where's Elio? No, uh, you're absolutely right. And it's a hard, it's hard work trying to make because I wrote the arrangements I write arrangements as well and stuff so I was doing shows and spending two months writing the arrangements then I go on the road and then teach at the rehearsals and get people to do the right harmonies the band your guitar player know you you know your guitar's out of tune and you you know you're strumming it wrong and it's hard hard work and I loved it I did it for Bill Kenwright you know two or three times yeah. toured around the country in big theatres and stuff and I loved it I performed at the same time so I was performing as well as directing yeah. and uh but it you know it wasn't exactly where my first love lay and it was it, it's as i say i've always just wanted to play my own material which is what this album's all about do you know what i also love is because everybody well we often think x factor brand new i mean of course it's brand new because it's got the most gorgeous girl in the world in it mm. the shiny hair <laughs> i'm not talking about Danny Minogue. uh no even though she is also phenomenally beautiful are you in the program is that, hi, hi, is that who you're talking hi, about hi, hi, oh. don't be silly i'm uh, 900 but the point is but you you didn't you reach the final of bob says opportunity yeah. knocks in 1988 Nin you know we forget these these That's kinds right. of shows have been going on for ages I, absolutely and before bob it was huey green back in the 70s which i watched as a kid when when opposition um when op knocks came up with bob monkhouse and i thought oh i love bob monkhouse i want to meet him and it was either that or new faces so i went on to onto that and did that i was 20 years old and uh, i actually sang a song called take you home which i've recorded for this album i never ever got to record it i won the show playing and singing this song of mine called take you home oh, i wrote it when right. i was about 18 years old and i actually wrote it with shaken stevens in mind I no thought, yeah i said green it door him. it was <laughs> no it wasn't no. green door yeah no I, and uh, anyway so i never got around to recording it and uh, i finally have oh i'm so excited for you and i should also say you're having a baby i'm having in four weeks not four you weeks. no i don't know yes there's a, a weird fertility thing going on in the stream. everybody who comes in is having a baby uh, other than me now would you mind uh, so far would you mind uh, playing for us live not at all you're gonna play you loved me too i certainly am okay Okay, I love it. It's just you, you and a keyboard. Just me, just me and the piano. Okay. Here we go. I just can't believe it. You caught me by surprise. Yesterday you held me And now today your eyes tell me With all the things I can do I can't pretend you loved me too We 
get days together when we laughed and cried recalling all the memories it hurts to think you lied each time you swore our love would come through each time you swore you loved The song I used to sing to you And if I had a wish now One to ease the pain Then I'd wish to hold you And kiss you once again And when you touch me how you would do I could pretend you loved me too The song I used to sing to you And when you touch me how you would do I could pretend you loved me too Oh, won't you touch me how I could pretend you loved me too. Brilliant! Thank you. It's so, but also it's just so adorable because it really is you and a keyboard. Really, my little Yamaha P90. Yeah. I should just say that I'm Claudia, listening to Radio Two, and I'm here with Elio Pace. That was one of the many delights on his album, A Seat at the Table. So you must just get into bed every night, other than being excited that you've got a new baby coming in yeah, four weeks. Yeah, very excited. You might also just sort of lie there holding your CD, thinking, "Oh yeah." <laughs> do you do that? <laughs> no, I don't go to bed with my CD. It's not like girls and shoes. <laughs> no, is that I just me? No, yeah. no, I am. I am. Uh, I'd be lying to you if I am. If I wouldn't say to you that I am awfully proud of this album. I am. It's taken a long time. There are fantastic musicians. It's all live music, live musicians, uh, great singers, a lovely horn section, fantastic rhythm section. I had wonderful people helping me make it. So I am extremely proud to have an album full of music like this. Uh, but also, you set up the Elio Pace band I think about 15 years ago you yeah. played at some pretty remarkable gigs like yeah. Sandra Bullock's 30th birthday that's right yeah you played it how I, I always like the look of Sandy she's lovely isn't she yeah so yes. smiley she's charming and very good actress yeah bright yeah do you know it was fantastic I got to uh I got to sing um summer nights with her from uh, from Greece. From Greece. She, she did Sandy obviously and I did John Travolta's part and stuff and uh, uh, it was great fun yeah it was really great yeah. Now no doubt people want to see you live just so much and just hearing you now you'd go oh are, are you planning a big tour? I am actually. And good, and, and that's I, so I, handy. And, and I didn't you, even know the answer to no, that. No you didn't. Yes. Yeah. No I um we are planning dates in the new year January Stroke February. In fact, it's funny as you say that. I got confirmed for that. Uh, we're all they're all pending at the moment. But the mm. one confirmed gig is Epsom Playhouse next year, January twenty second. Actually, okay. So, yeah, I like it. That's something to be look uh, to look forward yeah. to. I have to tell you. Let me just ask you this, Elio. I hate to put you on the spot. Mm. Do you have a favourite summer song? Favourite summer song? Like something you know. Suddenly, oh, the sun's coming out. Oh. 
Well, you know what? I worked with Katrina from Katrina in the Waves. Did you? Yeah, I've played with is her a few times. She's completely mad. She is. Um, she's fantastic. <laughs> okay. She's fantastic. I've got I love to ask. her. It's because she's got very shiny eyes. Uh, she has. She's beautiful as well, and I think and a very underrated singer. So, so I'm going to say Walking on Sunshine. If you gave me five more minutes, I may have come up with something else. No, I like Walking, on, Walking Sunshine, on Sunshine only because at the beginning I, we're trying to find the best summer oh. track, and we've had so many people. They text in uh, and they email. I just remind everybody the text number is 88 to 91. Um, but somebody said um, it, in, in the summertime by Mungo Jerry. Yep. That somebody wants that. They're mad What's for Don favorite? Henley. What's your favourite one? I like All Rise by Blue. Ah. Oh. All Rise. What you can want to get that. Who five. What you can take it All Rise. Okay. Uh, or I like Sunday Girl by Blondie. Yeah, that's I'm a great not bothered. One. I and that. I like Proper Summertime by, you know, Ella by Fitzgerald. Yeah, yeah. And then a uh, favourite summer tune is First Picture of Summer by the Lotus Eaters. Encapsulates everything about summer. But I'll be honest with you, I'm not big on summer. Aren't you? No, oh, I never. I'm confused about what to wear. <laughs> Elio, even my mother wouldn't be interested in this conversation because <laughs> <laughs> of what I'm saying. Thank you so much for coming in. It's my pleasure. Good luck with your baby thank and you. the album. Thank uh, you, I know they're two separate things, but you know what I mean. Yes, thank um, you. Uh, let's enjoy another song that Terry Wogan loves this, so it's only right that we uh, play it on radio too. This thank is you. from your new album. Here's "Addicted to the Phone." <laughs> 